If you ever wanted to have auto subtitles like CapCut in DaVinci Resolve free version, but you don't have money to pay for that studio version, well, this guy has us covered. He's created a script for DaVinci Resolve free version that gives you the ability to have auto subtitles in the free version. So big shout out to this guy and I'm going to leave the link to his video down in the description as well as the link to his github page where you can actually download this script and if this is something that you would be interested in using go show him some love leave him, leave him a sub or just buy him a coffee he has a link in his github page because this tool is just amazing so let's just see how it works let's jump right into DaVinci. Okay, now that we're in DaVinci, I just have a clip for one of my older videos in here just so we can auto sub over it. So let's see how it works. As you can see now, it doesn't have any subs over it. Okay, so that's all there is to it. It's just a simple three second. Yeah, so no subtitles, no nothing. So how does this work? We actually need our text plus node. So let's bring in our text plus node. So here we actually just customize our text plus node however you like. So let's, for example, go to the Montserrat. Let's go to black italic, go to shading, just change some stuff. Let's add a black outline. Let's go add a bit of a shadow. So now it has an outline and a shadow. We can actually change our size maybe something like this it doesn't really matter and then just get our position down so it's somewhere around here so now that we have this here we can actually make a simple zoom in animation for our text on the first keyframe we can go to something zoom 0.8 to something like this go 10 frames forward so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 then and then go to zoom something like 1.1 and then go five frames forward so one two three four five and then bring it down to one so now we have a simple zoom in animation for our text we can actually make the ease in and ease out ease in and out and this is just ease in so let's see how it looks now it looks much better so we got that covered let's just now add our text plus node that we just created in our media pool so now we have it in our media pool okay now we can delete it from the timeline as we have deleted it from the timeline what can we do now we actually go to the workspace tab here go to our scripts and then click on auto subscript now it will just open okay how, how do we use it so the first thing was to add a text plus subtitle template to media pool. Okay, we have added it. Then we need to mark the area that we want to we want to make the auto subtitles for with I and O. So let's do that. Let's go to the beginning of our clip, mark it with I, and then go to the end of it and mark it with O. So now that we have done that. We have a couple of settings we can play with. So basic settings, as you can see here, video tracks for subtitles. So that's just on what video track the subtitles would be. Would be If we leave it at two, it will just be right above our clip. If we change it to three, it will be one up, four, five, six. Now, if you're doing the subtitles last, as you should, maybe video track one through four will be already filled with different pictures, animations, whatever, fusion compositions, it doesn't matter. Then you would put your video tracks for subtitles to something like five or six. So it will be above everything else and it won't mess up any of your already done work. So yeah here we can we have some transcription model we can choose however you want but it's recommended to leave it at small english only mode more accurate we, you can actually use it for any language because it uses open ai's whisper as its backend but the english only mode is more accurate as you can see here we have some advanced settings we can import our own subtitles 
whatever. And here we have like max words, max characters, split by gap of how many seconds. Here you can actually make the words automatically censored if you don't want those swear words in your videos. So now we can actually do something like max two words per subtitle. So let's, so that's it for our setup. Then we just like generate subtitles. When we click generate subtitles, it will just get us over to the del deliver page and export the audio. Now it's transcribing the audio. So if you see those windows open and flicker, don't worry, just uh, open AI's whisper doing its thing, transcribing the audio. So now that it has finished, let's see the final result. As you can see here, we have our subtitles auto created. Let's see how they okay, look. So that's all there is to it it's just a simple three second video and we are going to recreate it in fusion now so don't be scared it's gonna be easy and i'm gonna walk you through it so we are gonna go to our effects tab we got our fusion composition in make it the same length as the video as you can see it works perfectly and this is such a game changer for us that use the free version of DaVinci because this saves us so much time when we are editing our videos. You can actually make however many templates you want and then you can keep it in something like a power bin. So just add a new folder, new bin, go to text plus. And then when we made our text plus folder, we go to our master and uh, just add it to our text plus. And now we have it in our power bin whenever you want. So we just bring it back to our master and just and just pop it in so you can create however many templates for text as you want and it can actually be like the CapCut you just drag and drop it in select it and it does it automatically so yeah that's gonna be all about this amazing script that was created for a free version of DaVinci and I highly recommend it because it's such a time saver and please if you do get this consider if nothing leaving a sub for our boy tom and see you guys in the next one